I'm James Hawkey, Managing Director for Retail Services at Cushman and Wakefield across Asia. I think first of all starting from Asia you now can no longer be a global retail player without presence in Asia and China is one of the key markets to start off with. The first point of attraction for everyone is one billion potential consumers. Um, 1.3 billion population of which about 60% now is urban population and 200 million more urban residents um, moving from a rural setting to an urban setting over the next 15 years. On top of that there's increasing wealth in China um, and a, a rising middle class and that middle class is becoming more brand aware, brand conscious they're looking for value, and often international brands provide that value. So that's why retailers are interested. Um, retail developers are looking to serve those retailers. So what's happening in the market now, there's huge development activity, um, something like a thousand malls uh, in the pipeline. Uh, probably 200 or more malls being completed this year, next year, and the year after. Um, so that's going to lead to a measure of oversupply in most of the major cities in China. But retailers are very, very active. Um, fast fashion is very active. H&M, Zara, Gap, CNA, all expanding uh, very rapidly opening up to 50 stores a year. Um, luxury brands uh, taking a little bit more slowly this year, but over the last three years they've seen huge expansion. And premium brands, brands like Tommy Hilfiger, CK Jeans, Lacoste, also expanding rapidly. So lots of demand, but even more supply. That's what the China market looks like now. Um, it's not really a country market, it's more like a continent. It's uh, 32 provinces in China, all have their own um, consumer profiles um, and consumer habits, so uh, it's much more difficult than tackling one country. Uh, each location needs to be looked at individually. Um, for retailers, I would say in terms of market entry, the legal part of market entry, setting up a company, preparing yourself for business, is relatively straightforward. Um, not as straightforward as somewhere like Hong Kong or Singapore perhaps, but relatively straightforward. Um, the real challenge is understanding your market is your brand going to make money? Who is your consumer? It might be slightly different from, uh, from what, who your consumer is in, in Europe or the US. What's your market position? Um, historically, a lot of brands that might be uh, mid-market in Europe or America have made themselves slightly more premium in China. Um, so that's the difficult stuff for retailers entering the market and China is a market where people with big plans work well. So people who enter confidently and start with 20 stores very quickly move to 50. Those people are doing better than people who are too tentative. I think China's made a very good start. They've invested heavily in infrastructure. There's amazing road networks, rail networks that go all around China. Um, they've possibly invested a little too heavily in the property side and short term there may be some hiccups there. Uh, but the growth story has a long way to go. Um, and China industrially is moving away from the low value add manufacturing that uh, a lot of the historical growth was based on. They're moving up the value chain into high-tech products, creating better paid jobs. So um, there's still 
lots and lots of uh, room to growth, uh, room to grow. And China now, as a high tech manufacturer, is um, more experienced than most other countries in the world. So um, that market is, is still open to them. Um, you know, longer term, there are factors of education will be very important. And uh, China is investing in education. Chinese families are investing in education, both in China and overseas. A lot of uh, Chinese students being sent overseas to be educated. And over the long term, that has positive implications for the economy. So it's really a 50-year story, and we're just at the beginning. Um, well, MAPIC has been very important to Cushman and Wakefield over 20 years, and many of our participants here have attended every show for the last 20 years. So it's a great place to build relationships and meet people. It's a good touch point um, at this point in the year to talk to people about plans for next year. Um, it's uh, historically a very European show and uh, it's very well attended by Europeans but um, this time I can see an increasing contingent of Asian participants from China, from India. Um, so I think uh, looking forward it, it should become more of a global uh, show. Um, but from an Asia perspective, I think it's very important to come here and have a finger on the pulse as to what's happening in Europe, especially with the European retailers.